Satnam Ananda, and I'll be going over the book Journey to Ananda. This is part of the Bruno's Amazing Adventure series. So with this book, I am going to go over our first technique, that of grounding. The story goes where Bruno gets off a plane in New Delhi, India to see his friend Ananda. When he gets there, the guide Mala, who's an elephant, is leading him along the way. The first thing we find out is that he has this huge bag, all of his comforts of the world he packed for this short trip. So as they're going through the crowd to get to Ananda and Amritsar, he was getting further and further behind Mala and all of a sudden he couldn't see her anymore and he's in this foreign land. So there we're going to pick it up. And this is the first page here that we'll be picking it up from. So it says, lost in a city of strange people and animals, Bruno quickly lost his excitement to see Ananda and started to worry. What if Mala couldn't find him? What if he stayed lost? How would he get help? How would he get home? Thinking these thoughts, Bruno's worry quickly turned to fear. This lasted for a time until Bruno remembered the practice Ananda had taught him before she had come to India. It was called grounding. Bruno thought now might be a good time to try it. He placed his back paws squarely on the earth and folded his front paws over his heart. He closed his eyes and took deep breaths, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth. He imagined that he was breathing light, warm, glowing thoughts down through the top of his head. As he exhaled, he imagined the thoughts moving out through his heart, sending joy and love to others in through the nose and out through the mouth. He focused on the breath over and over. He imagined his friends back in Colorado greeting him with hugs. He imagined exploring his home and eventually he focused on the warmth of the sun and the joy and love his friends brought to him. So with this book, there are these techniques that honestly for adults, this a lot comes from even that of heart math. So they started with adults doing it and it was so successful that they brought it to children. So what we're gonna be doing here is that of an L breath. On the L breath, it means that you're taking in that intention, that breath in from the top of the head, and then exhale on the L part, we're going to be focused on the heart center. So as we're doing this breath, it's in through the nose and out through the mouth. You can imagine as you breathe in, any type of warm thought you have, um, it can be that of your children, it can be that of your pet, it can be that of your favorite vacation place, ice cream. I imagine this being something huge that can be interactive with children while you're doing it, that they can start calling out their favorite things, because as they do this, it brings that excitement and that joy, and with heart math, what they want is to have the mind and the heart to be entrained into that heart center. This is the electromagnetic field. This is the greatest place. So then you bring that frequency and you hold that healing space for others. And it is all the time, including here at the Crystal Garden, when everyone's in that heart space, people walk in and immediately you're enveloped in this. So if you do this with children, you can all have this where you're feeding this energy to each other. So if you are sitting down on a chair then just have your feet planted on the floor if you're outside in nature it's even better to have your shoes off your bare feet onto the earth and feel that connection and then for me right now i'm just sitting indian style i'm just going to do the same thing where i have a nice elongated spine imagining what i'm taking in through the crown bring it down to the heart center and then exhaling through the mouth and when you do the exhale through your mouth, you can even do it like you're blowing out candles a few feet in front of you. On the inhale, maybe go for about three seconds. On the exhale, four seconds, a little bit longer. Nice full belly breaths to get all of that energy, to build that energy up and exhale, release the tension out. So let's try it now. If you're sitting on a chair, again, feet just square, flat on the earth. And then place one hand over the other, over the heart center, close your eyes, connect in, breathe in through the crown, bring it down to that heart center, and exhale through the mouth, can be blowing out like through a straw. Inhale from the crown, 
in, full belly breath to that heart center, exhale out. Now as you inhale, bring those warm glowing thoughts. And as you exhale, send that gratitude, that love and joy out to others. Keep building this energy each time. Notice the heart rate slowing down, feel the calming. You may even feel the heart that much more, the pulse as we're raising that vibration, we're living from the space. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Feel that well-being, that warmth, that joy, not only for you, but holding that space all around you and all that peace that you sent to your loved ones. And so it is. So again, as you do this, this can be a beautiful thing to share with others. It's a beautiful thing for us to do with ourselves and coming to that place of gratitude. You will notice every time you're doing this that there's more and more for us to be grateful for. And when we come from that place of abundance, we give that to others and we get out of that lack, we get out of that fear, we get out of the unknowns, we get into this place of being one with spirit. Thank you for joining me. Sat Nam.